Yo, folks, welcome to vlog. Oh, look at that lot. Yes. How many do you think is there? Eight? Fourteen bags of malt? That's not what's come out today, of course. That's what we've done this week. And we've got another load in here, which is draining as slow as a slow thing doing something slow. Yeah. So you can guess, can't you, what I've had today. Look at the time up there. It's Sunday the 16th of May and it's 4.34 in the afternoon. And we've had a stuck mash. Yes, that's right. What a bummer. What do you do though? I don't know. So, anyway, I can see me being here until probably seven o'clock at night. Uh, we are boiling though, we're 11 minutes into the boil, which is always a relief. Uh, but yeah, it's the porter, it's the big old porter. We do literally max out the capacity of the mash tun with this beer and uh, I don't know if I've got, let's have a look, uh, 110, 20, about 140 kilograms of grain into that little 500 litre mash tun. It's not even 500 litres really, 500 litres to the brim. So it's always quite difficult to do with a more wider, stumpier, a chode of a mash tun you might say. But yeah, there we go. So. What we've done this week, and I've done most of this off camera because I've just been cracking on because we're opening the restaurant tomorrow, is tang eight, seven, six, not five, that's got coconut in it, four, three, today two, tomorrow one, and then the day after five because that should be out in cask. So basically eight batches of beer brewed over eight days back to back then I'll have a couple of days off to chillax and I also dumped the pilsner that was in here which we made for Christmas and I wasn't happy with it and I thought well we'll let it sit on the yeast for a bit and then I moved it and turned the power off because I just didn't like it and then I thought well it either will or it won't and then I tried it today and it was brown so it obviously oxidized because I turned everything off so we dumped it and then I'm going to CIP that tank and get it ready. That reminds me, I've got to finish cleaning tank two. So I thought I'd just give you a quick catch up as to where we are. All these beers are uh, chilling down quite nicely on the pilot kit. I've also um, taken a bit of advice off everybody, you can't see it. I've added some stainless steel nuts to the dip tubes so they don't suck air. But yeah, the colour of that Philly Sour. I know it's a lot of people have got a Philly Sour on the go, a Raspberry Sour on the go at the minute. So, uh, I'm not the only one. What we've got in here. There we go, you can see the dip tube, or the floaty bit. And the beautiful colour of that mango sorbet. IPA. And uh, anyway, I'm not going to bother unzipping that one. Just thought I'd do a quick video, just a quick five minutes to update you on a Sunday since I've not done much this week. Uh, made some bars, some greedy boards if you like, for the side of me malt trolley, because we really are, oh look at that, we really are now starting to get through quite a bit of malt. Particularly when I'm doing this back to back brewing, I've just got to wash that lovely juice off my hands now. There we go, mmm sweet. Froggy, you've left your uh, drinks bottle here, mate. <laughs> anyway, as I said, just a quick update. Total nonsense, I know. Pure rambling. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to hit the uh, the vacant gesture while I wait for this to drain out and for the boil to finish. What else do you do on a Sunday? Eh? Certainly not going to church. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's it. If anything amazing develops, then that'll be next. If it doesn't, well, we'll see you on the next one. 
yeah, 20 past six, nothing interesting happens.